Hello, Rose. Super happy Hello. to see you here. Uh, is it your first time on Mallorca Blockchain Days? Yes, it's my first time. How do you super like happy. it? Yeah, <laughs> super happy to be here. Amazing mm. conference, like brings together so many different voices. Mm. You know, we had Richard Werner, he's a really amazing economist. Um, so I'm really happy to have been Yeah, attending. yeah, yeah, yeah. You met Richard Werner. Super excited for you. <laughs> Why you were so excited about him? What is that? So? Um, well, it was a surprise, yeah. so we weren't expecting to see him here. And then, but also because, you know, we've read a lot uh, his books mm -hmm. and like studied them very closely and actually very much support like his vision of like these uh, small scale uh, community banks. Mm -hmm. And he wants to build, you know, it's interesting he's speaking at a crypto conference because he wants to create a kind of alliance uh, between crypto and the community banks. Uh, so we've been speaking with them about that and mm -hmm. yeah, definitely interested in that vision. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so you're like a programming and you're a developer in this new project uh, that you're working on. So tell me more about it. Right. OK, so the project itself is still in stealth, so I mm -hmm. can't tell too much about what we're working on, but I can say that, you know, our main interest is anonymity you know, yeah. because that's a m massively kind of uh, unsolved problem in the in the crypto space and the tools exist to like address this problem in a way that's very like efficient um, and very flexible. So that's mm -hmm. that's what we're working on. Uh, I'm a programmer and yeah, I've been contributing code, writing Rust code specifically uh to this project that's um, so cool yeah which is great i'm really happy it's, it's really fun okay so today when you were speaking in this conference you touched very deep and global subjects like uh, global war of civilizations like tell us more about it briefly like what why this topic why are you so excited about it okay um so I'm very interested in kind of the history of civilization and there's this idea which come from Ochelan, which I think is very inspiring, which says mm -hmm. that, you know, there are many different types of civilization which have like historical precedent. So there's not just this like one type of civilization which we live in now, you know, there's other strands that we can kind of uh, do alternative history of, so like, uh, archaeology kind of archaeological that we can learn from yeah. that we can learn from mm -hmm. we can seek them out and research them and, uh, and 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 so you know I'm I'm trying to do a version of that but but also looking at the crypto space so seeing like what kind of strands of civilization are competing within crypto and you can see like that there's there's a there's an obvious difference in logic between this this um, uh, kind of homogenizing tendency of the central banks um, compared to, um, you know, these other efforts which have decentralization as their core value. Um, so it's like, why are there these two different kind of um, uh, modes which are competing for dominance? Um, so my answer to that is like, well, they've, they've always been in competition. You know, it's like, it's an ancient battle uh, for power and at various points in history, one wins against the other. And I believe that we're entering into a phase where the democratic form of civilization is going to take precedent um, over the state-based civilization. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're like in crypto space for many, many years already. Like you've been the writer in the CoinDesk, right? And you've been journalist and stuff. Like how did you uh, get into Bitcoin? How did it all start? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I got into crypto in like uh, 2015, which mm -hmm. was, I was still in college at that point. Um, and I was actually um, working as an artist at that point. Um, but I read a book which was by Julian Assange, uh, his book on the cypherpunks. Mm -hmm. And it told about Bitcoin, it told about peer to peer, uh, sorry, PGP encryption. And I was amazed. I was like, this, oh, okay. is, this is like, <laughs> this is so cool. Um, so I got really into, first I got really into like actually PGP and I learned all about encryption and how that works, um, which I didn't know before. And, and I started to use PGP in different kind of uh, ways when I was making digital art. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's also where I started to intru like become, move from art like sculpture into like more digital art yeah. and using encryption and this kind of crypto stuff. And then, um, yeah, that kind of interest in encryption. Then when I, when I realized that Bitcoin um, w like was using these fundamentals in cryptography to form like a monetary system, then I was like, what the fuck? And uh, so, yeah, from about, uh, then I started blogging about Bitcoin, etc. Mm -hmm. super excited by what was happening, and um, uh, eventually worked for Coindesk for several years before mm -hmm. um, leaving to become a programmer. 
<laughs> okay, what are your favorite projects related to blockchain and cryptocurrencies these days? The ones uh, that you believe in the most and more, more passionate about? Yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm super supportive of any project which is somehow involving um, privacy and non um, anonymity. So like, there's various different kind of yeah. uh, takes on how to do that, but I, I support all of these projects like in, by, in principle. Um, but then there's also a lot of projects happening in the, the DeFi space, which I find really interesting. Some of them I spoke about today, so I think one that I would get everyone to look up because I think it's a really good introduction to DeFi and to like, the potential of token engineering is the Olympus DAO. Check them out on Discord. They've got a really amazing, super active community. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. <laughs> and so then from like, the anonymity side, like, I, I think Torn Tornado Cash is great. That's a, a, a mixer on Ethereum, uh, but it's a really good example of how um, we can use techniques like ZK Snarks to create like fairly trustless um, and efficient uh, anonymizing technologies. So I think Tornado Cash is a good example of that. That is so cool. Thank you so much. Thank you.